This is the freshest cookie. This cookie is a Minecrafting cookie. This cookie ain't stale. This cookie is fresh. N there we go. Now, we are coming at you with a Minecraft short, an addendum to De Doble Day 49, where we made lots and lots of stuff. Right. While I am talking, I'm going to put away a couple of things because I don't need them and I don't want to lose them. Good. All right. Did not want to lose any of that. Before I came on air, I tried various ways to get live fish. According to all the uh, internet stuff online for um, Minecraft, you're supposed to do your fishing, you know, regular fishing, but do it underwater. And then you won't have your fish coming up to the air, and it should come to you live. For some reason, here at Dobo Wizzy, it doesn't work. This is a Dobo short. This is Wizzy. W-I-Z-Z-Y, because you like it. Admit it, you like it. And really, I shouldn't be rained on at all, but it might make this stick. There's my little boat, my itty bitty boat. Quick, quick, quick review. The scuba mess. And oh my God, don't ever unplug things. You may never get them replugged back in. It took me forever because I tried to put an automatic fisher, an automatic fisher. It says you can use an automatic fisher to catch live fish. Yeah, no. You see this raw tuna? You see this raw tuna? This is what that caught after I went through hell to get it set up. Now, this automatic fisher will use, uh, let's not touch it with anything, will use red net energy cable off of a geothermal generator. Yes, it will. Of course, you can't have anything touching, and it has to sit right on the water. Then you put your fishing rod in it, then you put your bait in it, and um, very much, it looks very much like this. See these bubbles, all the bubbles? By the way, I has fish. Now here's the difference. This is raw tuna. This is tuna, lifespan, medium, fertility, very low, blah, 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 blah. This is a live fish, but it was made in an incubator from an egg. Honestly, folks, to start this, I ended up cheating in a pair of fish to make an egg, to put in the incubator, right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take uh, this fish and put it all the way over here. We're going to take this fish, bring it down here, and take this fish and bring it down here and move these buckets. Good night. All righty. I has my live fish in my inventory. Let's run, 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 run over here. We're not putting it in the hatchery because we don't need to. We're going to come down here to this. This is the fish feeder. One of these, I hope, is a lady. All right, so we have a guy. Here's, here's our girl. And as you can see, this is fish food. Now this stuff, you can you can run it through your crafting table, I believe, and it'll come up with fish food, and you fit it, put about fish food in here, and um, it'll feed the fish. The fish are working right now. See, the fish are working. When the fish are done being productive, they will eventually produce an egg. Now this is going to take a few minutes. So we're just going to let these fish do their thing. They're, they're being productive fish. 
They're doing their fish. Right. So we're just going to leave this alone. We're going to come over here to this thing called a sifter. Apparently, it takes two to tango. That's why when you make the sifter, it makes two tables. Yeah, ah, uh -huh. you need them both. So, one sifter by itself won't work. But when we do this, we come over here. And we put a second sifter down. <gasps> I have a net. Now, take any block, grass, thing of grass, right click, and look. I has a grasshopper. You just keep right. Oop, well, no, that's really. Gosh. Gently right clicking. Just right click like insanity. I'm in creative mode. You will not get one per click all the time. You just, you just won't. It will never happen. Uh, apparently, you will go nuts just hitting it with dirt, throwing dirt at it. Here's a thought. You Minecraft, you get a snot full of dirt, come over here, and you chuck it. I believe you're supposed to be able to do Q. But well, maybe not. There. See, if you do Q, it will yield an item. Good way to get rid of your dirt and get bait. These baits will work for various rods like this guy. Apparently, if you take these rods and you go underwater, you will catch live fish. Just to show you how nonsensical this is, I'm going to go down. I'm in creative mode, but that doesn't matter. I also did this in regular mode. Um, move the, the sifting table. Bring me my Roddy. Roddy Yachty. In it. And what? What the heck? All right, now what's wrong? What, do I have too much bait? What? Well, it doesn't know what to use. Is my rod confused? What is this? Hold shift. Oh, maybe I can't have all this bait on me. What? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Honestly, sometimes this game gets a little ridiculous. Okay, fine. Put this away. Oh, there's no more room. Uh, take out the shifter. Put that away. All right. Now, let's see. First off, let's just... Oh, that's so weird. Oh my gosh. What, did it just die? Is it a dead rod? When it turns green like this, it's dead? Oh, this is ridiculous. Fine. A vanilla rod is also supposed to be able to do the same thing. Fine. Here's your basic. Okay. Now, here's your basic. It came through. It's a raw octopus. Now, apparently, 
if I step under the water and I do like this see I'm still getting raw food so so what maybe it's a glitch in the game folks but apparently you're supposed to be able to use your rods and they're supposed to work all right let's come back over here for a minute putting all the nonsense aside grasshoppers fishing rods more fishing rods I do not get it but I do know this because we've already done this once we got a fish just sitting there chilling out oh my god I got more fish well they've made frozen droplets aqua droplets earthen droplets they haven't died yet though so I haven't got an egg Lazy, these guys are just doing stuff what the heck see eventually these these little bars here will go down see something right it drops down 10 every every time these bubbles come up says he's minecraft fish too well I have no idea what that was ah. well they're hard at work making stuff I don't know Eventually, they produce an egg. And if I ever want this short to end. What you will do with the egg is you will put it in here. And your little egg sit in here. And you'll see the same bubbles. And eventually, you will get live fish. And you can do this all day long. Take your live fish. You can even take two different kinds of live fish. Start with an egg. Any two different kinds of live fish. And breed fish. And try and make better fish. And, and that's how this works. Because the fish feeder. Is where you make your fish work for you. Now. Minecraft just brings up a very interesting little thought. I'm going to leave this with you, my dear viewer. Working fish, paid in fish food. Do these fish have unions? Are they unionized? Are there, is there fish ISHA and fish OSHA safety standards for these fish? I mean, do they get holidays? If they work more, if they work harder, do they get overtime fish food? Or do they just get worked to death so they can be respawned to be worked to death? You realize that this is a form of fish slavery. This is your Minecraft Minute. Mojang Minecraft introducing exploitation of natural resources 
fish slavery. Only on Minecraft. You got to love it. Ah! Just to speed this up, I'm going to go in here. And we will get an egg. Just to show you what an egg looks like. Maybe I will show you what an egg looks like. Here's an egg. This is a fish egg. If I take my fish egg, which you will get eventually. I mean, well, we're down to 230. I mean, we could make, we could wait this out, folks. And, and, oh, oh, look, we got a new thing. Another water droplet. Different kind of water droplet. These, by the will, way, will, when you, when you put them into uh, a crucible furnace, they will produce water or whatever. Yeah, you, you have to know how to, um, I, I would have to say that these are all, um, Crucibleizable things. I don't know. We can wait another couple of minutes and see. Apparently, this doesn't take all that long. But this is what your fish egg would look like. Of course, this is probably a random fish egg, whereas. This will be a tuna fish egg. Oh, they are dying, though. See, they're just being worked to death. I mean, does Minecraft have no conscience? Is this responsible Minecrafting? Are we working with the Minecraft world to, to cherish our resources? No! We're exploiting them! Yes! <laughs> the cookie sweeps. Bing! There goes a tear. Well, we are getting there. Wow, 100. No, it's it's going to drop down real quick then. Let's just give it a su couple, another minute maybe. Because then you'll see this produce its egg, the whole egg and nothing but the egg. So help the egg. So help the fish. So help the Minecraft fish feeder. Now that throbbing you're hearing behind you is the uh, geothermal generator. Go back to dough bowls 47 and 48, 46, 47, 48 dough bowl days and you will find uh, the scuba, all the scuba done and how you made the scuba and ha how you made, um, how you made the, um, air compressor to put, see we're about to get an egg, to put uh, air in your tanks, and we did a little scoobying around, and we're almost done. One more time, and we get an egg. These two guys are going to go die the death. All right, now we have two dead raw tuna, which is fine. That makes three, but we have a fish egg. Now, this has 200 eggs remaining. Now, I'm going to um, put away this fish egg. And I'm going to take it all. 
including my egg. Now, right click, place in the egg, and take the fish. Notice that they go into two different places. Now I'm going to take these guys. They're Minecraft fish. They don't do diddly. Not bow or diddly. Up, oh, that was the girl. And this was the guy. And right away, there they go, being exploited all over again. Now... Oh, now that's a phenomenon. You see these two fish in the water. Do you know what those two fish are? Those two fish are the fish in the fish feeder. Oh, that is bizarre. Well, that's a phenomenon. Okay, now I'm told... If I come up here, woo! We're moving a little slow today. It's nighttime. Uh, let's see how this works. Put these guys in here. And oh, I get raw fish meal. Look at that. 24. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now, I do believe that if I walk over here, I mean, I just lost a good tuna dinner. Ah! Wait. Cookies, what's wrong with you? Now, if I put this in here, right, see how that went? You put the fish meal in, and it becomes fish food, and now my fishies have plenty to eat. They haven't got a whole lot of hit points. Let's come back over and click on this and see where this is. This is going to still incubate, and it will take time. Because every time this, these bubbles go up, you get one less egg. See it? It clicks down. When all the eggs are done, suddenly you will have fish on this side. And that's how it works, folks. That is how it works. This is our Minecraft short, Mariculture. Addendum to day 49. This is the Freshest Cookies signing off. Oh, b and by the way, sorry I couldn't provide you the catch raw fish angle. Trust me, I spent two hours, three hours trying to figure that one out. It won't work in this game. You are supposed to be able to do it by angling underwater. And then you should get fish, fish. But this is the Freshest Cookies for now, signing off. Ta-ta!